Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a meat thermometer properly. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this meat thermometer. This is an analog meat thermometer. As you can see, it has a dial right here, but you can also get a digital meat thermometer, which will digitally show you the temperature readout of the meat that you're trying to measure. It's very simple, very easy to use. You're gonna have one end that has the temperature reading, and then you have the other end that actually goes into the meat itself. Now, usually you'll use these when you're cooking meat, but I just warmed up my food to eat, so I just wanna check the temperature of it right now. Um, yes, yeah, so it's really easy to use. You get the end that goes into the meat, and you wanna insert it into the meat. You want it to hit the center of the meat because we're not trying to measure the outside temperature, we're trying to measure the internal temperature. You can see it literally jumping up right now. So it's telling me the temperature of the meat, and you wanna leave it in there until it stabilizes. So it's still going up ever so slightly. You can see we're at about, and this is in Fahrenheit, as you can see down here, we're at about 110, 112 roughly degrees Fahrenheit. So you should know what temperature you want your meat to be at when you're cooking it or before you eat it. And you wanna make sure that it reaches that temperature. So you can see that it displayed the temperature in just a matter of a few moments. That's the beautiful thing about these meat thermometers. Um, you know, you don't have to wait for a minute or two minutes until it stabilizes. Most meat thermometers will be able to reach the temperature accurately in a matter of a few moments. You wanna wait until it stabilizes no matter how long it takes. It might take a minute depending on the meat and the thermometer, but you wanna wait until it stabilizes. But as you can see right here, it stabilizes in just a matter of moments and it's going down now because I because there's air entering the uh, hole that I put it into right over there but you can see we're hovering at about 110 degrees Fahrenheit um, as the internal temperature of the meat so once again you have to decide on your own temperature I'm not telling you that this is the right temperature or not you have to decide on whatever temperature you want your meat to be at when you're cooking it or when you're about to eat it um, but once you've decided on that temperature you can use a meat thermometer to see if it reaches that temperature and then you can make a decision on cooking based on the temperature that the meat has reached and that's basically it so right now as you can see, this will cool down. I'm just gonna wipe it down, but it will cool down and the temperature will drop. As you can see, as soon as you take it out of the meat, it's gonna drop to the ambient temperature around that as it cools down. But that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.